detox, what is your, um, you know, some as seasons change, we're into a season now, the weather's changed, we're about to fall back. What's your recommendation on detoxing? I think that um, the first rule, I, you know, my grandparents, greater grandparents, I, I'm a fifth generation herbalist. And mm. the very first rule of healing is to stop doing what you're doing that is keeping you from healing, right? So if, if we say that detoxing parts of our body is like emptying out a trash can, stay with me, right? And we want to empty out this trash can and because it's smelly, you know, it's not so great, right? We have to take everything out of it and wash it out, but we have to stop putting stuff in it while we're trying to wash it out. Okay. So I'm not saying that you have to fast. What I'm saying is it's a great time to consider what you're putting in that you feel you needed to detox from in the first place. So the first rule of cleansing is to stop messing up the environment and then you can get to the next place. So one of the first things we want is to make sure we're having enough water. When I ask people, um, have you had water today? Like how much water have you had? Like customers come in, oh, I have a headache or, you know, as an example, and I'll say, well, how much water have you had? Oh, I, I drink a lot of water. When we get down to it, they've only had eight or nine cups, which is really not a lot of water. We've just been programmed. And this is how we have to decolonize our tongue, right? We've been programmed that's enough water, but those are the same people who told us that milk is a food group, you know, so you can <laughs> You gotta trust it. Where's the source? You know what I mean? And I guarantee you that almost every time I say to them, you look dry to me. Like I can see that you look dry because I'm <laughs> used to reading people's souls, just looking in they in their spirit. You can and have I, an ashy soul. You can is that what you're saying? Your, your soul, soul could is be ashy. Ashy. soul is your ashy. Soul is ashy. It's Damn. dehydrated. Your soul look like a raisin. Jeez. And so the minute that I give them some water. They say, wow, my headache is gone. And I say, now we can start talking about what tea you need and other stuff. Because I don't have to sell you water. I just need to give you water. My job is not to sell you stuff. My job is we are in community together. I need to help you get out of your own way. Like, how can we help to heal you today is what we ask people when they walk in. Because my job is to help you. I'm not healing you. I'm just assisting. I'm the midwife of this thing you're going to give birth to, which is this better way of living. And my job is just to help. I'm catching it. I'm just helping. <laughs> now, now, what's this about alcohol? Because alcohol is oh. plant-based. It's plant-based. <laughs> In its purest form, yeah, it's plant-based. Come on, come on. I mean, come on, Charlie. Come back. And, and that's a great comeback. I love that you came back with that, Lamont. It is plant-based. You are absolutely right. Let me take you back in time. Okay. <laughs> right? We're going back in time. There was a time that people used alcoholic beverages to steep herbs in order to extract the alkaloids, the, the healing mm -hmm. properties of the herbs. You feel me? Mm -hmm. And anybody who's listening to this as Caribbean knows about those roots tonics and mm -hmm. other things that are usually it's a bottle of rum, nothing less than a hundred proof. Because, you know, I'm a Jamaican. We don't play that. We want our liquor. We like our liquor like we like our men. <laughs> overly, overly macho and <laughs> super strong. So you have this alcohol and usually herbs are inserted into the bottle and mm -hmm. they may stay there in the cabinet or buried or anything for like up to a year. And then they're taken out and used. Listen. When people use them, they have a thimble's worth, right? Of this, of this tonic, what becomes a tonic. And as time moved on, I'm talking about, we, I'm I took you back to ancient Egypt, okay? Okay, okay. And as time moved on, what happened was people eat a little more alcohol, a little more alcohol, a little more. And so something like a juniper tonic, that's great for detoxifying the liver, becomes gin. Oh. Right, something like um, a tonic that's good for digestion and the nervous system, like hops, becomes beer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when people would drink these things, they were in smaller doses, like how cordials are served. Cordials right. are the direct descendant 
of this sort of um, medicinal extract. We're talking about tonics, tinctures. And tonic mm. is in the name of our business because we make tonics and tinctures. And so those are tiny shots of ex extracts that are super strong of the herbs, right? Distillations. And that's why alcohol is still called distill, distilleries mm -hmm. and distillations. And so we're really just seeing the end result of marketing, right? Mm. So instead of somebody saying you have a little bit of wine, and when I say a little, I mean like two fingers to help your digestion, it becomes a glass. It becomes mm. a whole, right? Um, we have a snifter of brandy instead of just a tiny shot to help relax the system and the digestion, whatever, right? Like hops is a great nervous system, what we call a nervine. Things that fall in nervines are like lavender and hops and uh, chamomile and all these things that help the nervous system. So instead of just like a little tonic of hops, and I've seen on the walls in Egypt where, you know, there mm -hmm. are, what are the equivalent of pharmacies? That's why I was hanging out, right? These ancient buildings where all it's somebody carved it in stone. When somebody says something is written in stone and it can't be changed, they, they committed it to stone. And I saw hops plants mm -hmm. and then somebody had a little pretzel and, they, and then somebody had water. And so they're telling you they're making a medicine. Right. But they didn't have a big thing of beer, like, you know, they had small shots. Right. And that's where shots come from. Like you go to a bar and you have a shot. So when you come into our shop, we have shots too. We, we got sexy space. We don't want places where people drink alcohol to be the only place you can hang out, have a date, whatever. Mm -hmm. You can have a shot, but that shot is going to be this is for your nervous system or this is for your digestion or whatever we've done right manpower we have a men's power tonic so oh. hey this is for your man parts get it together right mm. so that's kind of right. how it works so alcohol is not a bad thing in and of itself Got it's it. just okay. how much are we consuming and Got why are we just drying out our tissues or are we looking to heal ourselves 